All right guys, what is up? It's Mark AK Brawl Mark. Welcome back. I had other videos recorded that I was going to upload. I just had a busy week. Um, my birthday was uh, last week or on the 8th or whenever this video comes out. And um, I just haven't been, uh, I haven't been able to upload because I've just been busy doing all sorts of stuff, work and uh, going out for my birthday and other people um, who I know, um, they have birthdays around the same time. So just a lot of busy things, but either way, the other videos I recorded, I'm probably gonna upload them after this because I just wanna talk about this subject. I thought it was very important. Pretty much a few weeks ago, they put up a poll, um, not really a, a poll, but like a discussion um, on pretty much should runes be taken out of the game. And it's just been such like, um, I would say a controversial subject because the way it is, they pretty much plan, I don't know if everyone knows this, they plan to pretty much reduce how effective runes are in the September update, which is 5.0, I think it is. Um, so pretty much they're gonna make it, I think right now max runes give you 60% um, more stats on your attack or whatever, and health and I think things like that. And they wanna reduce it to like, uh, I don't quote me on these numbers, but down to pretty much like 25% or something like that. And it's just a controversial subject because a lot of people think runes are pay to win in the game. And there's also the side of people who say um, that runes, even though they are pay to win, no one's like disputing that or anything. Some people are also just saying that if you've already paid money for the runes, it's kind of unfair to you who's spent so much on these things and then for it to just be completely removed out of the game it just doesn't really make not really removed but like for the people who want it completely removed it doesn't make sense in that sense but also for it to be nerfed so much it's like you've invested so much into something that gets completely nerfed like um for example let's say dragos costed 20 dollars for him even though he doesn't Let's say he cost 20 bucks and he was guaranteed to be the best character in the game and then you bought him and then pretty much you were enjoying having fun playing the game. You've had him for let's say five months and it's just so much fun always dominating people and then out of nowhere they're just like let's give him this huge nerf and now he's like the weakest character in the game. In a way I can't see how it would just be like man um, I feel like this like I've wasted my money pretty much because you're pretty much not getting what you paid for. So um, in that sense, I guess that's also a topic. Um, but just comment down below what you guys think of this whole rune thing. Do you think they should be nerfed and stuff? I honestly, I do agree with it. Um, when the game first came out and I started playing it, level five was the max level for runes and then it jumped to 20. And um, I liked it at five. I thought that was fair because everyone could get there. But I do see the point of it going up in level. And I'll explain why I say that. Um, Number one, I don't play the game every day because I work and stuff, but I do play it very often on the weekends when I have free time. And pretty much no matter what, even if I'm not playing, I will log in every single day just to guarantee that I collect my, buy my rune chests and things like that. And the only other reason I log in is just to get the um, champion fragments, just to be able to afford characters like new ones that come out and things like that. I pretty much have everyone except for Eris and I can buy her anytime. I just, I'm just waiting to make sure I have enough for the new character and for her. But either way, pretty much what I'm saying is the only reason I, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people pretty much make sure that they log in every day, even if they're not gonna play that much, is just to get a few of the daily um, tasks done just to get their runes and do things like that. And to make sure that um, their runes are pretty much up to par with everyone else's. And I'm, I think like every game needs a reason to always log in because nobody's, I know for sure nobody's logging in just to do the free spin every day and get like a four day gold booster card or to get like a trial skin for three days or something. Like none of that stuff is really something that will in, like is a good enough incentive to log in. Champion Fragments is a good enough incentive to log in, but I'm guessing that they don't want to be giving out those like crazy because there was an issue when the game first came out that there was um, too many, like champions were too cheap. So I guess they don't want to just be handing out fragments all the time. And um, I understand that they, runes is pretty much a good way to just get people to always be logging in. And even if you do log in, 
there's a chance that even if you just bought it, you probably will play a match or two. Like, um, it, it is a good incentive to get people to always log in. But I do also see the controversial side where it's like, runes are pay to win. Um, with the mystery shop, you could just jump in there and buy things and it also allows you to, to use gems to respin and get more things and stuff like that. So there's also that where it's a little pay to win where you could do that if you wanted more runes. Um, there's the um, option of reflipping your um, chests and buying more chests, which most people won't do because they cost tickets and stuff. But I'm I'm pretty sure that you could buy tickets with gems. I'm pretty sure, and then you can also do that to buy more runes. So there's just a lot of penguin aspects when it comes to runing, and I guess I do see how a lot of people get angry about that. Like honestly, um, there are also people who will say that runes aren't fair because i know a lot of people who um there's a few people in discord that i see they'll, they'll say they pretty much rise in the ranks quick using characters and um pretty much their runes aren't up to par with other people's runes when they make it to diamond league and stuff like that and it does make sense because um sometimes it is a bit harder but i don't think it's broken per se like me personally i think i've probably encountered three matches in the entire time of air place game where i'm like wow that guy's runes are like maxed and I think it was one time against a bomb king where he pretty much was throwing bombs and just doing max damage. Uh, one time against Kanessa who was just critting like huge impossible numbers early game and then the last time was against um, a buck who could pretty, pretty much literally stood in our spawn point just in the grass and we could never leave it like we would walk and he would just one shot everyone like one shot one shot one shot triple kill and then he would just jump out of there and heal a bit and then come back and do it again. But outside of those like three matches, I don't think I've ever seen it ever again. The buck thing probably has happened to me like twice, to be honest, probably three times. But the bomb king, I've only seen that once ever. And I've only seen like a maxed Knessa like once ever. But Knessa is also a character who is someone you could kind of deal with if you have a good flank. Um, I could see how bomb king and buck are much harder to deal with if you aren't in the situation to deal with them like a max buck is doing a lot of damage no matter what even though they just recently nerfed him a lot of people are still complaining about him but uh tell me what you guys think below um i'm not gonna let this video drag on i personally think it's a good idea to nerf them but i do see why people say it's um they'd be upset because if they paid money for it i personally haven't um, I know a lot of people also who have spent money on this game mostly spent on skins and weren't really caring too much about buying runes. But a lot of times, even with like battle passes and stuff, the incentive is you get skins but you also get some runes with it too and things like that. Even like with some of the packages like the Anara pack, I think it gave you like a free Anara skin and it came with some runes for her. So even things like that, I guess in a way you thought like it was such a good deal because you probably spent $10, you got a skin, but you also got these runes. But now it feels like I would have never spent ten dollars just for a skin and runes that don't really do much. But tell me what you guys think below. I hope that they do nerf the runes. I think that it was a bad idea to bring it up to twenty and for them to do such a huge impact on the game. Um, but it's already been done and there's nothing they can do about it. Pretty much them as a company, they're trying their best to just make sure the game is balanced and everything. And they will make mistakes every now and then. It's a new game, um, still new in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of things that they're adding all the time and they can't be in control of how everything is going to work out um, But yeah, tell me what you guys think below. What do you guys think of this whole rune situation? Do you think they should be nerfed? Do you think it's unfair for people who have paid money that it's nerfed or do you think that? Um, it's, it's a good direction for the game overall to make it more fair more skill based instead of uh, I guess uh, Money based where you just have max runes and stuff and you're just doing max damage but uh, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.